new video and I'm gonna do the number one requested custom. Honestly, I don't really know why I haven't gotten around to doing this custom, but today is the day that we are finally gonna be doing a big camo custom. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. Feel free to do this on whichever pair of shoes you like. We're gonna be using a stencil for this, so for all the people that are gonna be like, man, like I really wish I could draw and I just really don't wanna mess these shoes up, this is the way to go because you're basically gonna be guaranteed a really, really nice babe camo print every single time. It's just gonna be like super, super easy without all the extra artistic work and you, you don't really need to put a lot of thought into it, honestly. It's gonna be really, really easy. And I will have the link to all the products that I use in the description below, so feel free to check that out. But without further ado, let's get into what you guys are gonna need. The supplies you're gonna need are... First thing we're going to do is go over to Google and we're going to type in Bape Camo Stencil and we're going to get a ton of images. Um, I'm specifically doing a blue Bape Camo but I'm just going to click on this green Bape Camo because it has like a really nice form to it so I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to go to save image as, open it up on my desktop and then I'm going to go up to print and it's going to give us this menu. I'm going to go to show details and then we're gonna go over to scale and then this is where you guys can change the size and just tweak it however you guys want to. And then we're gonna make three copies of this. So three copies and make sure that they're all in color. So once you print them out, you should have three different pages and they should all be in color. I just have a mouse pad underneath because I don't wanna cut through to my desk. So make sure you have something underneath. And then we're gonna use our X-Acto knife. And for the first page, we're gonna cut out all the light green shapes. So don't cut out the brown ones, don't cut out the dark green ones, only cut out the light green shapes. piece of paper we're only going to cut out all of the brown shapes and lastly only cut out the dark green shapes we're going to get to the monkey's face and we're just going to put this one aside and we're going to cut out the little details in his face and i know they're super tiny but don't worry you're going to be able to do it really all you need to do is just cut out like the eye part and the mouth part and that's it and then right here I'm just cutting off the excess paper and then once you're done you should get three papers that look like this. One with all the light green cut out, one with all the brown cut out, and one with all the dark green cut out. And then we're going to have our little monkey's faces as well. Next thing we're going to do is mix our paint colors. So I'm specifically going for the blue babe camo, but you guys can do whichever colorway you want. Right here I'm just painting the shoe white and the more coats you put, the more it's going to cover up the black. But basically what we want to do is just cover up all the black first and we're going to use a heat gun in between coats until we get to this really, really nice like white solid finish. We're going to start off with the first stencil where you cut all the light green shapes out of it and we're just going to attach two pieces of tape and place it wherever you want on the shoe and just basically tape it together. Line up the stencil again and paint it with your third shade of blue.
Once again, don't worry if the blobs aren't perfect because we're always going to go back and fix them afterwards. Gonna use little monkey stencils to add faces to any blob you want all you need to do is just place it over um, paint it with a background color and then we're gonna go back in and add details to it afterwards